Well, hello all. I'm inside my mouse hole tree. It's going to rain tonight, so I've decided to try and pitch a tent in here. I don't think we'll be able to fully pitch the tent, but let's see if we can fit a half pitch tent inside this mouse hole tree. I'm absolutely amazed that I was able to pitch this this tent completely in this mouse hole tree. Wow, wow, wow. Now let's just put the covering over the top. Wow, wow, and wow. I am stunned and amazed that we managed to pitch this tent, that we managed to pitch this tent fully inside this mouse hole tree. I really didn't think that this mouse hole tree would actually fit. I mean, this tent would fit inside our mouse hole tree we did a lot of cleaning of branches and there it is now let's just see how well camouflaged it looks from the outside so here here is our tent. Let's move back. So there is our tent. Let's just move back and see. It is pretty stealthily hidden. There is a whole tent inside that mouse hole tree. Wow, wow, wow. And our top and plants have hidden it fairly well. That tent was just not was a better color, it was more camouflaged, it would be completely hidden. Here is our tree. Again, our tent, and a different view of the opening of the tent. And there we are hidden under and inside the tree. made myself some lovely curry and rice while contemplating all the wonderful things that there are in this world that a person can do. I found on Wikipedia a list of hobbies. 3D printing. What is that? Acro, acro yoga is a physical practice that combines yoga and acrobatics. Amateur radio, how fantastic would that be? Animation, 
Okay, ma manipulating still figures. Archery, ah, bring on the Hunger Games. Bat and twirling. Sorry, I don't have that coordination. Beatboxing, bell ringing, bird watching, blacksmith, I'd love to do. Make a few knives and uh, ninja stars. Bonsai, really like to do that too. Um, bowling, nope. Don't want to do old people's bowling on a lawn bowling. Bread making, doing that already. Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, one of the most effective martial arts. Bullet journaling. What I, what I find fascinating is this is, it just goes on endlessly the number of things. What is hacking? Oh, okay. I do hacking, but that's cutting down alien vegetation. Herping, yeah, I know that. That's looking after amphibians and reptiles. And so it just goes on. Shit. Posting, what on earth is that? Online forum or social to post content that is satirical and aggressively ironic and trollish poor quality. Okay. Shoemaking. And this these things are just honestly, these are just then there's outdoor sports. Cycling was great. Composting making compost wow and and it just goes on i just think isn't it wonderful how many things there are in this wonderful world that god made for us to do that <laughs> there's hardly any reason to ever be bored curry strong curry often gives me hiccups so Got some hiccups at the moment. But when you look at that long list of hobbies, and that's only one millionth, billionth of all the things that there are to do on earth, you think to yourself, why do we feel inadequate ever? I mean, we may have tried six subjects at school, we may have been bad at maths and maybe something else, and then we sit for the rest of our life and judge ourselves on our maths ability. And those subjects are probably things we're hardly ever going to use in the rest of our lives. But just think of all the other things that we, the possible hobbies that there were on that list. And every single one of those one could be excellent at, and it could become a living. So one has to wonder why <laughs> some people just walk past They must wonder why there's a voice coming out of a tree. But just think of how, I mean, you might be one of those snake people who loves snakes and you sell them, you breed them, you get your piebald, you get your albino, you get your all your different types of snakes, you're expert at it, you're passionate about it, it doesn't require maths, it doesn't require any of the subjects you did at school, maybe you're a dancer, maybe you never danced at school, you earn a living, you're a singer, and yet we sit and judge ourselves by how well we did at school, or the few things that we've attempted in life, when we there's so many things we haven't attempted that we could be just brilliant at. The other thing that strikes me is there are just so many things to do in this world if you're open to new things. I mean, if you're going to just do the same things that you've always done, then there is a limit to how many things a human can do. But if, if you're open to doing anything, things that are on that list, and then there are millions of other things that, are, that never made it to that list, like for in my case paragliding was the most exciting wonderful amazing thing that i've ever done i did 110 flights my longest flight was four hours it did such things for my self-esteem i just i just was the most fun thing i've ever done in my life 
So I think we should really should be so slow to judge ourselves as, oh, I'm worthless, I'm useless, oh, look, I can't do anything. You haven't tried one billionth, you've tried one drop in the whole bucket of possible things that there are to do. You could be so good at the next thing you try. I must say at age 70, nearly, I'm always looking for something new to do. I just love it to wake up and, and today I'm going to try something different. I'm going to make a new electronic project. I'm going to fit a tent into a mouse hole tree. It blows my mind that I can do it. It's going to rain tonight. I'm going to sleep here. I'm going to listen to the patter of the rain. And I'll manage to blow your mind away. Manage to fit it into this mouse hole tree. I'm just so excited. And this morning I went hacking and built a bird's nest stealth shelter. Don't even bother to Google it. It's not there anywhere on the internet. That's a completely new thing. But it's and I wanted to sleep in my bird's nest stealth shelter. Let's try saying that fast. But because it's going to rain tonight, I had, I'm not planning to take a tent or waterproofing. That is a night. That is something for a nice, warm, comfortable, pleasant night. No rain. So because I couldn't do that, I thought, well, wow, let's see if we can fit a tent. And I'm stunned and amazed. This is a beautiful nice and big tent I could live here for the rest of my life and you saw how invisible it was so it just it just makes you wake up with a spring in your step and joy in your heart and gratitude at the Lord for making so many different Making this world as complex as it is, that there's so many wonderful different things that one can do every single day if one's open to it and has, and frankly, it takes nothing to, didn't cost a cent today to pitch a tent here under this mouse hole tree and to build myself a bird's nest uh, stealth shelter. I'm hoping to, if it's not raining, go there tomorrow and stealth camp there. So, I think it's time to get some dessert. So for dessert, I'm going to make some flatbread. What we have is about a third of a cup of water. We throw in a little bit of oil. And then we throw in some flour now we're going to roll out this Bit of butter. It's probably still perhaps a bit warm. One should wait for it to cool. And a bit of jam or jelly. 
yum yum apricot jam just looking at people going past totally unaware that I'm here that's how wonderful and stealthy our, our place is and if I just shut up I'd be in, totally invisible <laughs> so with just a little bit of dough mm, that is really nice I love flatbread what a great way to finish off a meal As I say, it's wonderful. You, I'm watching people go past, and if I'm if I'm saying nothing, they have no clue that I'm here. I could sit here for the next ten years and just watch life go by. No rental. Normally when you've got a tent up, it's pretty obvious what you're doing. But if no one sees your tent, because of the beauty of the fact you're inside a tree. No one minds what they can't see. And what they don't know about. Well, I've made, put a tent in a mouse hole tree, built a, a bird's nest still shelter, and cooked flat bread for the first time in a pan. It really seemed to need that little bit of direct heat from the gas. That's more like an air fryer. So. Again, I'm really grateful to God for creating such an interesting, diverse and wonderful world with so many interesting things that one can do if one's open to them. And it gives you a feeling of satisfaction. It gives you a feeling of, wow, I'm pretty good at that. So the more things you try... And the more things you succeed at, the more your self-esteem rises, which is a great thing. Nothing wrong with a good self-esteem. Also, you have an interest for the day. And you think, wow, another day in paradise. Well, it rained a bit, but it's all perfectly dry. So, looks like an absolutely wonderful night for a camp. So, good night, you all.